Hey everyone, welcome back to our CopQuest YouTube channel. My name is David, I'm the operations manager here, and today we're beginning to be talking about one of my favorite product lines, and uh, I think it'll become yours. It's the Blackhawk T-Series line of holsters. So let's check them out. This particular one that I'm holding and showing first is the Blackhawk T-Series L2D. So this is a level two. This particular one is light bearing. There's also non-light bearing versions. And then if you're wondering about uh, what weapons will fit, for Sig Sauer, it's gonna be the P250 or the P320. And then for the Glock, it's gonna be the whole spew of, of like full size and compact Glocks because they're all essentially the same. Okay, so for the L2D and all the other models that Blockhawk makes in the T-Series of holsters, there's some really cool features. So we got a low friction internal polymer that is hydrophobic, I, th I think I, I'm remembering it correctly, where it repels water. It's got a nice lining in here so that it's a lot quieter for your holstering and drawing of your firearm. Now for retention wise, it's kind of cool. Uh, I'll have to show you the up close of it, but it actually locks on to the weapon light if you have the light bearing version. If you don't, it locks onto the trigger guard. For the light bearing versions, you have the option of using a Streamlight TLR1 or 2, or you can also go with a Streamlight TLR7 or 8. It's going to be a slightly different holster, so you're not really going to be able to intermix, but you can pick and choose what you're looking for. So now I'm holding the L3D. This particular one is a basket weave finish. This is perfect for those departments that require a basket weave finished holster to match the rest of your duty gear. So for your L2Ds and your L3Ds, you're able to, to have this option here. Uh, so now let's show some of the differences as to what makes this particular one a level three versus the level two. So for a three, it has this hood up on the top that will have to be deactivated prior to drawing your firearm. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using the red gun modeled after the six hour P320 with a Streamlight TLR2 light attached. Uh, this is kind of a cool training aid. If you're interested in seeing some of our other stuff, check out our video, which uh, will be pinned there. Uh, so <clears throat> for this, it'll drop right in, and you might have been able to hear that click. Let me do it again closer to the mic. Boom. So with the level three, this is kind of cool. When you drop the firearm into the holster, it automatically locks it in at a level two. Then to be a level three, you just rotate the hood back up and boom, your, your firearm is nice and secure at a level three. To draw, this is, this is so awesome. You use the technique called your master grip. So as you get your master grip, you drive your thumb down and you simply squeeze and draw. Now, give me a moment and I will do a close up so that you can see. But before I do that, let me tell you, it, this is awesome. So you have it holstered at a level three. Let's say you're in a hairy situation. You squeeze, but you decide, nope, I'm not gonna draw. It retains it level two. Well, you're, then you're like, oh, I need my gun. Well, just simply squeeze again and you got your firearm. Kind of cool. So now let's show you that close up. So with this demonstration, there may be a slight shadow because of where our light source is and the belt loop adapter here, uh, but bear with me. So you're gonna come down, get your master grip and squeeze your thumb in towards the firearm. That will disengage all retention systems and allow you to draw your holster and a nice smooth action. So now that we've kind of gone over the function of the holster, some of you might be asking, well, how do I attach that to my belt? Well, Blackhawk has a really innovative belt loop adapter and uh, built into it 
and uh, I'll show you this close up again so you can actually see. It's got a nice three patterned T so that you can actually cant it however you like without having to get a different belt loop adapter. Kind of cool. Then in addition to that, this one, you can unscrew these screws and put it onto your belt. So this is really beneficial for those of you who are right-handed. You'll know this is a terrible pain when you gotta put on and take off your holster. You have to take everything off your belt, pull this off, feed it back through and put everything else back on your belt. Well, with this, you just undo these two screws and it will pop right off. It's kind of a cool feature. So now that I've talked about it, let me show you so that you can kind of see. And uh, Cody, we're looking good? Okay. So on the bottom here of the T, you've got three holes. It comes standard in a upright position and you can change it to have a forward cant or positive, or backwards, or negative cant. Whatever suits your fancy. And then this is what I was talking about. So it comes from the factory loose, but you're gonna wanna undo the screws so that you can feed this in and attach it to your belt. So Blackhawk came out with a L2D and an L3D red dot version so that it will accommodate uh, all your popular ones, such as the Trijicon RMR, uh, a Dr. Optic, there's going to be a, Rome, a Sig Romeo 1, I believe I'm saying it correctly, and uh, there's a few others that I'm just forgetting, but there's, there's, it's awesome. It has all the same features of the other holsters we were previously talking about. The only difference is it's going to have this out bump here, and this is to accommodate your optic and uh, it's kind of cool. It has the same master grip thumb activation and then it has a dust cover up here. So when you draw your firearm, your optic is going to move the dust cover so that it's ready to receive when you're done and ready to reholster. And then you simply will close the hood and it puts the dust cover back. And uh, there you are. Let me show you a little closer so you can, uh, you can see this thing. And then I have to manually manipulate this one because I don't have, uh, don't have a red gun with an optic and uh, truthfully the boss would be a little upset if I tried to charge that on the company card. But anyway, there we go. This is what it looks like a red dot sight version of the Black Hawk T-Series duty holster. All right, so I forgot to mention, there are left-handed versions of these holsters. I didn't show them because uh, my, I myself am actually ambidextrous, so I'll, I'll do both, but uh, I tend to prefer my right hand, so that's why anytime we're showing you a holster or anything, it's gonna be a right-handed one most of the time. And uh, I really enjoy this holster system and uh, you should check it out and pick one up for yourself. So please call our customer service, check out our website or, you know, like subscribe, all that fun stuff. All the information is going to be linked down below specifically for these holsters as well. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later.